We made fairy fruit wands. I can grant you any wish you want. I wish I had fairy wings. Zing! Wow, I love my wings. Now I wish for a crown. Shabing! Wow, I love my crown. We're gonna show you how to make fairy fruit wands so you can play too. First, you need fresh fruit and skewers. We have prepared some strawberries, grapes, and watermelon, but you can choose any fruit you like. Be careful because the skewers are sharp on the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the fruits and I'm going to poke it and hold the fruit and then slide it down. Just like this. Make sure you leave a bit of room so you can hold it at the end. My pattern is going to be a green grape, then a red grape, and then a strawberry. Mine is going to be a strawberry, a red grape, and then a green grape. What wishes would you want to grant? I would grant wishes for my family and friends and to make the world a better place. And for me to get a new puppy. <laughs> I would wish for me to have some magical power, like be invisible or something. Make sure you have a bit of room at the end so you can put your star watermelon on. Take your watermelon, then take your cookie cutter and smudge it in. You can ask an adult to help you. Then poke out your sheet. And when you're done, it should look like there's a star in the watermelon. Then take your watermelon star and place it at the end. Add it on top. Now it's time for the ribbon. Take a few cut up pieces of ribbon and then just tie it to the bottom of your stick. your fairy fruit wand. I wish you have invisible powers. I wish you had laser eyes. I wish you could fly. I wish you could swim really fast. I wish you could make it summer when it's winter. I wish you had the power to change color. I wish you could make a fairy fruit wand. I wish you. <laughs> <laughs> Make frozen yogurt bites. I love to make my own recipes. And today we're making frozen yogurt bites. We're going to show you how to make them so you can play too. First, you need plain yogurt. Let's put a little bit of yogurt into our bowls. You can use something to sweeten it, like honey or jam. Now let's mix the sweeteners in. The honey stirs in really fast. Mine's changing color with the jam. And then you add fruit, like blueberries or strawberries. I'm putting in strawberries. Me too. You can add nuts for something crunchy, like pistachios or almonds. Mmm, I love almonds. It's going to make it really crunchy. Once your yogurt is mixed, you're ready to put it in the ice cube tray. You have to make sure you do it really slowly so it fits in. I'm gonna give it a little taste. Mmm, tastes so good. I bet it'll taste even better when it's frozen. The cool thing is, if you make a little bit at a time, you can make a different recipe to fill up your tray. New bowls for the new recipe. We're starting with our yogurt again. Then we're gonna put in our sweeteners. I'm using strawberry jam for this one. My bowl's turning pink. This time I'm going to put in some blueberries. Wow, this one's going to be really full of stuff. I'm cutting my blueberries so it will mix in. Now I'm putting in pistachios and almonds. Once your tray is filled up, you're ready to put it in the freezer. The best thing to do is let it freeze overnight. So, 
Good night. Good, Good morning. morning. Let's try our frozen yogurt. These are the ones we made earlier, frozen and ready to eat. I'm gonna choose this one because this one looks like it has honey. I think the recipe is super cool because you can make frozen yogurt bites any way you want. Mine has jam, strawberries, and pistachios. I think this has honey, strawberries, and pistachios. Mmm, this tastes really good. Mm, that was super yummy. And, and that's, that's how you make frozen yogurt bites. Sleepover. And we made night lights. Turn the lights off. Look, they glow. It's so cool. And we're going to show you how to make one so you can play too. This is how we made our night lights. First, you need a jar. Then, you need some paint brushes. And then, you need glow, glow in, the, in dark. the dark paint. You take your paintbrush and start putting dots in your jar. Here's a tip start from the bottom and work your way up. Glowing the dark paint is gonna glow. That's what makes your night light. Try using different sized paintbrushes to get different sized dots. Mm -hmm. It's nice to do dots so your glow in the dark paint looks very glowy. This is really fun. The thicker the paint, the better. So you really load your paintbrush up. If you make it like dots, it's almost like stars in a jar. Try getting big dollops of paint. I always like to have a nightlight at a slumber party. And this is a great nightlight because you don't have to plug it in. I really like having nightlights because I get a little nervous when I'm in the dark. I'm almost to the top. I'm making mine more lines than dots because dots are getting a bit hard for me. You can use any design you want. You can make hearts or tiny little stars. It kind of looks like fireflies are in your jar too. This paint looks white, but it should kind of glow like green. I want to go over my dots so it doesn't kind of look like fingerprints. It mostly just looks like dots. My jar is looking good. Oh, your jar is looking good too. Thanks. Once you added all the paint you want, then your jar is ready to dry. The best thing to do is to let it dry in the sun. The sun makes it glow brighter. When it's dry, you can add the lid on. And then you have your nightlight. <gasps> they glow. That's awesome. Oh, pretty. pretty. It's like magic. How to make a fire-breathing dragon. <sighs> this is my fire-breathing dragon. I named him Flame. Let me show you how to make one so you can play too. The first step into making a fire breathing dragon is to get an empty toilet paper roll. After you've gotten that, you get some construction paper and you wrap it around like this. Any color you want. And then you get a little tape and tape it. Then add the flames. You get some ribbons of your choice and you tape them to the inside of your dragon. Here's a tip. If you want your dragon to blow out more fire, stick more to the top than to the bottom. You can use anything you want, including ribbons, yarn, other types of streamers. Put them in any way you want. You can put some in the bottom, put some on the top. You can change the color. You can Cut some paper out. You can really do anything you want with this dragon. I'm gonna put different colors of streamers in and make it look cool. <laughs> After this, you can decorate it any way you want. Here are some I made earlier. You can add glitter or any kind of decoration. Then you can add a face. I'm gonna put some pom-poms that are blue and green. I'm gonna put some googly eyes on them. Remember, you can do anything you want with this.
You can attach them with glue, which is probably better for the pom-poms. Sometimes it's easier to put the glue on the toilet paper roll than putting the glue on the pom-poms. Then you need to add two little things for his nose. You can use beads, coffee beans, smaller pom-poms, or buttons, or whatever you want. And I'm going to put some glue on the bead first. Wait for the glue to dry. And that's how you make your fire-breathing dragon. Dragon, dragon, I want your jewel. No way, mister! Go away! No, no, no! Well, well then, can you at least touch my marshmallow? Sure, if that's what you want. Thank you. Yummy, yummy. Would you like a bite? Sure. It's so yummy. Yes, it is. I love marshmallows, but I love my jewels more. But you can have the rest. Thank you. Rom, nom, nom, nom. Make your own movement game. Hi, we made our own game. First, I'm gonna roll the action die. Hop like a frog. <laughs> Wonder how many times I have to do that. Six. Six. That's the highest one. one. Two, Two, three, four, five, six. Your turn. Run in place. One time. Why? <laughs> Okay. Right, I'm gonna do it. Uh, roll the action die. Da, da, da. Spin around. I love spinning around. <laughs> so let's see how many times I have to spin around. Spin around. <gasps> Four. Four. <laughs> hey, let's do it. One, two, three, four. Woo! <laughs> this is how you make a movement dice. You start with the box. Now this is a regular gift box. You can use a tissue box or any other type of square box that you can find. The next step is to decorate it. You can decorate them with actions like hop like a frog or spin around. You can use construction paper and make squares out of each side of the box. Like these, which we made earlier. I'm gonna put on this card, do the chicken dance, with a little drawing of a chicken on. You can do any actions you really want on these, but you should choose something silly if you want this to be really fun. I'm gonna put do a jumping jack on this card. Once you're done with all drawing your actions, you can put them on the box. This is the box, and I'm gonna tape them because gluing them might get too messy. You wanna tape one action on each side. If you don't want to draw your actions like we did, you can always cut them out from a magazine or go onto the internet and print them out. Here are some of the silly actions we thought of. We thought of pretend you're an elephant. Fly like an airplane. Put your finger to your nose. Swirl around. Do jazz hands. Do a jumping jack. Do the chicken dance. Dance like a crazy person. Jump on one leg. Jump up and down. Swim in an ocean. Then you do the same thing all over again to make your number dice. It has numbers on each side from one to six. You're ready to play. You I got, got jazz, jazz hands. hands. I got jazz hands. <laughs> Five. Five times. Five times. <laughs> Like a, robot. like a robot. Let's do it. And how, how many, many times? One. one. Okay. Let's do it. One. <laughs> silly animal charades. We're playing silly animal charades. My turn. Hmm. I should get this one. Oh. <laughs> a, a bird. Uh, a, a crow. A seagull. Yes. That's correct. That's great. Uh, this one. Ah. Okay. Cock. Play the guitar. Yes. Seagull <laughs> Yes. 
we're going to show you how to play Silly Animal Charades so you can play too. This is what you need to make Silly Animal Charades. First, you need to make your animal cards. Print your animal off the internet. And go on with the adult. You don't want to go on by yourself. You can cut animals out of magazines like these. Or you can color them. I'm cutting out this cute koala that I found. I want to make a dragon. And you can make any type of animal you want. You can make a rainforest animal, you can make a, a desert animal, even a water animal. While we make our cards, I'm going to show you how to play silly animal charades. To play, you pick an animal first, and then you act it out. And just like regular charades, the kids have to guess what your animal is. Once they've guessed your animal, you go back to the bins and you pick an action for your animal to do. You act out your animal doing that action and the other players have to guess what action your animal is doing. And then it's someone else's turn. And that's how you play silly animal charades. Once you have your animal, you can glue it on a card. And after this, after I glue this on the card, this is going in the animal bin. With this cute koala I cut out earlier. Next, you have to find some actions. I'm gonna take this very cute squirrel reading. I'm gonna glue it on that card right there. And I'm gonna put it in the actions bin. Right there. It's my turn. Wait, a bun, uh, uh, kangaroo. Yes. Uh, <laughs> kangaroo. It was a kangaroo. Wait. I'm gonna pick an action. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I wonder what it is this time. It's a kangaroo skipping rope. Yes. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh, crocodile. Yes. <laughs> For at first, I thought you were trying to be a shark. <laughs> yeah, or something, something like that. Uh. Oh, I mean, uh, uh, a crocodile. Stretching. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a 